to the award-winning high school sports extra presented by Scheller Automotive. That's Brian Milam. I'm Dan Reefer. Thanks for tuning in. We kick off tonight with the holy war between Lexington Catholic and Lexington Christian. In five all-time meetings, the Knights have won four of them. The Eagles' lone victory coming two years ago. Let's get to the highlights presented by C2G Environmental. Lexcath ranked number four in 4A. LCA number four in 2A. Eagles get on the board first. Jaden Barnhart on the keeper. Up the gut makes it six zip LCA. He rushed for like a buck 27 in this game. Bo Allen, he rushed for a bunch too. He also threw the ball. The dime in the back of the end zone to Blake Buson. We're tied at six. After LCA took a 14-6 lead. Allen again, this time to Jackson Corbett. They say he stepped out, but Allen would run it in to tie things up at 14 all. Allen, three rushing touchdowns in the game. Second quarter, back comes LCA. I mean, it was up and down, up and down. Barnhart to Xavier Brown. And it's the Eagles back in front, 21-14. LCA led 28-14 and a half. Lexcath came back to take a 42-35 lead. LCA scored again, went for two, got it to go up 43-42. Then Catholic missed the field goal. His uh -oh. time expired. Take a breath. LCA wins 43-42. Oh. Douglas off to have a, a lot of a show to go to. You know? <laughs> Douglas is off to a 4-0 start. Three wins by shutout. The Broncos have outscored their opponents 194 to 14. Jeez. The yeah. rest of Lexington's public school football programs have a combined record of 3 and 15 entering tonight's slate. 0 and 3 Henry Clay, hoping it's up to the challenge against the mighty Broncos. Douglas Getting the ball first. Very first play from scrimmage. Josh McClure hip, 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 hip. calls his own number. And that number is six. Six. Touchdown. <laughs> He's going to go 69 yards. Seven nothing. Broncos. Same score in the second quarter. McClure, hey, how about one more time? 12 yards out. Douglas improves to 17 and 0 against the Lexington schools. 27 nothing. The final. Ryan Station at Tate's Creek, one of the best receivers in the city right there. The Commodores, Miles Thomas. Yes, sir. First quarter, De'Adrian Taylor to um, Amadeus Taylor. Fumble. Uh -oh. Big hit oh, by Marcus my. Bosley. Michael Webb recovers. That drew a 15-yard penalty, by the way. Later, Luke Doobie looking downfield and finding Bryant Elliott, who hangs on for the nice pickup. And that leads to this. Around the far side, it's Willie McGee. Hey, Willie McGee, 80, <laughs> 85 NL MVP. Tate's Creek goes on to win this one, 33-27. Oh, my man, Willie. Madison Central Lafayette both still looking for win number one of the season. Somebody's got to go home a winner tonight. Late second quarter, 13-0 Central Lafayette's Tanner Pace finds Noah Kurtzinger. 13-6 <laughs> Tribe. Lafayette struggling with the extra points. While the cameras were there, this was Central's story. Get nice yardage. Pops oh. out. Turnover. Jay Brank with the recovery. Start of the third quarter. J.C. Chagag will take the kickoff around his own five. Watch him make this cut here. That got the defense uh -oh. going the other way. Wrong way. Makes one man miss. And a goodbye. 95 yard kickoff return. But Central, they score when the cameras aren't there. 24 18, the tribe gets the win. Wow. Dunbar coach Wes Johnson facing his former club, Wes Jessamine, first drive for the dogs. A lot of green in this game. Jacob Green gets the little piglet, and he will weave his way 15 <laughs> yards for the score. 7-0 Dunbar. This is Wes Jess star, Jackson Green, son of former UK baseball great Chad Green. His dad could catch it, so could his son. Two weeks ago, he had a pick six on Lincoln County. You know what? He does it again for me. <laughs> and you got blocked Almost again. <laughs> again, I get blocked. But Dunbar, too much offense. Jake Smith hits a crossing Mitchell Joseph. Gain of 59. 204 all-purpose yards. Knocked out at the four. Dunbar gets the win, 44-28. Clark County welcoming yeah, Southwestern yeah. to Winchester. Together with the Dreyer wow. Warriors leading 7-6 <laughs> in the first. Chase Doan. With the handoff, he gets untouched. They got a lot of domes oh, down there. Oh, they do, man. Extending the lead Woo. to 14-6. Southwestern possession again. Austin Barnes, oh, he sees some daylight. He just comes breaking through there like Earl Campbell. It's 21-6, Warriors. The Cardinals make a push late in the second. Jordan Manley rolls to his left, and he's going to find, oh, pretty pass. Dawson oh, oh, baby! Tried. It was 21-20 at halftime. Southwestern, though, picks up the W, 29-20. All right, now to the Division I Bowl. 
between Christian Academy of Louisville and Boyle County. Cal has UK commit John Young, Louisville commit Austin Collins, yep. the Rebels have Notre Dame commit Landon Bartleson, Three. and West Virginia pledge yeah. Reese Smith. Three bad. and one, Christian Academy taking on unbeaten Boyle in Titletown. Pick it up in the second. Rebels already up big, 21-7. Look at Reed Lanter going up top to his favorite receiver, Reese Smith. He's going to be doing that for Neil Brown soon. 39 yards, it's 28-7. Rebels still in the second. The give and go to Andrew Sacco, or Andrew Sacco gets it, and then he goes. 24-yard <laughs> touchdown, 42-14 at the half. Who are you with? Rebels. Lanter across the middle to Smith. Look at the juggling catch. He runs away from everyone. 51 yards. Boyle puts the running block oh, on man. Cal. 71 28. All right, across town. Danville hosting those Hazard Bulldogs. Or as Vernon Cooper would say, Hazard Bulldogs. <laughs> Danville and the Dogs at the 16. Jeff Sweep to court and Crawford. Great name. Takes the pop and stays up. He goes in for the score. 7 0 adds. Hazard comes right back. First snap of the game for the. Gold and blue, the blue and gold. Trajan Campbell finds a hole and he's gone. 85 yards. Danville drops a heartbreaker oh at home. 30 29, your final. Franklin County has been lighting up the scoreboard on the way to a 4 0 start. Would Woodford County be able to ground the Flyers? Opening drive of the game. Nick Broyles scrambling, finding Tariq Lester. Look at that move. Oh, babe. Gets in the end zone. 7 0 Flyers. Give him six. Later in the first one of the best catches you're going to see all season. Bryce Patterson to Skyler Johnson. Oh, keeps it from going down on the turf. Nice catch. Look at this right here. But Franklin County wins big, 50-14 the final. Capital Clash, Frankfurt and Western Hills. 20 seconds left in the first half. Larry Carter looking long. Not long enough. Picked off by Jeffrey Parker, the junior. Uh-oh, he's got room to run. He does. But he doesn't take it all the way back. Wolverines trailing 21-13 to the break. Over to kickoff second half. Caden Mormon with a head full of steam. He finds a seam. The big guy. He's a big guy. He's a big youngin'. Wolverines get within two. And the big green machine completes the comeback. 34-28, second win of the season for Western Hills. Top-ranked team in 2A, Somerset. The number two team in 1A, Williamsburg, and that is Governor Matt Bevan flipping the coin there. First play of the second quarter, Somerset. The trickery flea flicker, Kaya Sharon to Cade Grundy, and the Briar Jumpers jump up 6 0. Next Williamsburg possession, Dalton Ponder. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> so is this receiver right here, Caleb Rose. This goes for 68 yards, and Williamsburg goes on top 7 6. Another Somerset touchdown here. You got Alex Miller. Two yards away. He's in. The two-point conversion is good, and now it's 14-7. Somerset. Williamsburg responding. Dalton Ponder. He's a Mr. Football candidate because he is outstanding. I guess who he's going to find one more time, huh? A man named Rose. A rose is a rose is a rose. By another name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, it was 14-13, Jackets trailing there. We've been trying to find a score. I know people. I know both of the coaches, and I got <laughs> nothing. So I don't know who won this great battle. I mean, we'll, we'll take a look and see if we can find out coming up for you later and update you, so stick around for that. But next, it is our Athlete of the Week and Plays of the Week.